What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to today's video. You know, these past couple months I have been growing out my hair and it's gotten to a point where it's getting pretty long. Recently, since my hair is so long, I've been doing like this slick back kind of wavy hairstyle. And today I wanted to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can actually get this look yourselves if you wanted to try and pull off this hairstyle. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this tutorial. Now, the first thing we're gonna do before we style our hair is we need to wet our hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower and wet my hair. So I'll meet you in the bathroom. Let's go. All right, so I just hopped out of the shower and the next thing I'll do is start to child dry my hair. This is when your hair is the most fragile, so you wanna be extra gentle when you're towel drying your hair. You don't want your hair completely dry, still, you want it still a little damp when you start to apply heat, uh, but yeah, just keep that in mind. Next, I'm gonna take my round hair brush. I like to use a round hair brush, but you can use a different kind of brush or even a comb if you wanted to. Uh, basically what I'll do is just start to slick my hair back. That way I can start to visualize the hairstyle that I want. For added protection, I like to use a heat protectant spray. Today I'm using the Tresemme heat protectant spray. I'll just take the bottle and spray it a couple times all over my head, and then I will then use my fingers and just rub it in directly into my roots. Next, I'm gonna take my blow dryer, and what I'll usually do is keep it at the lowest setting, but use the highest heat. And the reason why I keep it at the lowest setting is for me, it's just so much easier to kind of control my hair. Um, if you have one of those filters at the very end of your blow dryer, then you might be able to get away with high heat. But uh, for me, I don't have one, so I just keep it at the lowest setting. So I have pretty thick hair, so this process usually takes a while. What I'll usually do is start from the back like this and then kind of work my way to the front. All right, so next I'm gonna take my round hair brush and we'll just start to kind of tame my hair a little bit as it continues to dry. Um, again, this takes super long for me just because of how thick my hair is. This may not take as long for you if you kind of have thinner hair, um, but yeah, it just depends on your hair type and your genetics. So here's kind of like a technique that I use. So basically what I'll do is if you can see that I push my hair towards the front while rotating my wrist back and away, um, it kind of gives it that added volume and kind of pulls my hair into the direction where I want it to go. Um, the reason why I do this is because again, my hair is super thick and sometimes has a mind of its own, but basically when I kind of do this kind of technique, it'll help control my hair a little bit more. For this technique, I will usually start from the front and work my way to the back as well. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your hair. The last thing you wanna do is make sure you get the back of your head. Um, I do this just because my hair type usually gets pretty wavy back there, so I just wanna make sure that it's completely dry. All right, so now that my hair is dry, you can kind of see how much volume that I have with my hair. You can honestly get away with a kind of like a quiff hairstyle or even like a pompadour hairstyle if you really wanted to, but today we're gonna to stick with the slick back look. So what I'll do next is I will take my hair styling product. Today I'm using the Forte Series Texturized Clay, which is a product of another YouTuber by the name of Alex Costa. Basically, this is a strong holding clay, so all you really need is a dime-sized piece that you can kind of rub into your hands. You wanna make sure that you're getting all the clumps out, so you wanna make sure that it's kind of like nice and pasty before you apply it to your hair. So when you actually apply it to your hair, you want to kind of start from the back, make sure you get it down into the, your roots, and then you can start to slick your hair back into that slick back look. So I'll use my fingertips and start to pull my hair all the way back towards the back of my head. 
So another side tip for anyone with medium length hair that is kind of stuck in that awkward hair stage, what you can do with the sides is just kind of slick it back just like this. You know, again, that is just my own personal preference. Uh, you can do whatever you want with your hair, however you like your hair to look. So the last thing I will do is I will take my round hairbrush and then kind of clean up my hair a little bit more. Um, you don't have to do this necessarily. For me, I'm trying to achieve a really clean slick back look, but I know some people like a more natural look, which in that case, you can just use your fingers. So during this part, you know, you can just kind of play around with your hair and make sure that it looks exactly how you want it. So yeah, this is pretty much the final look of the medium length slick back hairstyle. Uh, for me, I think it's such a clean look, which is why I've been doing it pretty much every single day for the past couple weeks. It is such an easy look to pull off, so I highly recommend it for anyone with medium length hair similar to mine. So there you have it. That is my medium length slick back hairstyle tutorial. So what I usually do throughout the day, I'll just take my fingers and kind of go through my hair like this, just so it looks nice and clean. Um, right now, I use a lot of product actually, so basically my hair is still pretty straight. Um, but usually if I don't use that much product, then my hair will start to get a little more wavy and will look a little more 90s. So just keep that in mind if you wanted to have more of a 90s vibe instead of this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button down below, as well as hit subscribe and the bell. That way you're notified for all of my new and upcoming videos. I appreciate y'all for the support. So until the next video, I'll see you soon. Peace.